we lost our farms. That's the big change. Uh, what happened, uh, the dairy farmers anyway, we, they had the meeting at our house because it was a big house, you know. In fact, the original house that was built here in 1690, at upstairs was the meeting house and the church for the whole town. And that was something that, that wasn't my grandfather's idea, it's something they did. But this was always the meeting house because it was big and could accommodate, you know, 100 people if they needed to come. And uh, they had a, a meeting with uh, Brock Hall in, in uh, New Haven. And I was in on that meeting and I saw the looks on all the, the bohemian farmers that had only a few acres and you know not that they said that you couldn't sell milk in cans anymore and you had to have a bulk tank and it was a lot of money to buy a bulk tank and you wouldn't buy a bulk tank for two or three cans of, of. so it, it in one small swoop it put I'd say 30 or 40 dairy farmers right out of, of business so only the only ones left were the the six or eight or ten big farmers, the, the Cones and the Dills and Gelston and, and us. And that was, that was the big change that came suddenly. And so that's where the trees started growing up. You know, they, these farmers had to go do something else. So they, a lot of them still lived here and had to go find a job. Then all the commuting. You know, everything you needed was right here. You didn't have to drive anywhere to get anything. It was, it was right here. And then all of a sudden, people had to go driving. And we got uh, enamored with cars. And suddenly, there were just cars everywhere. And, uh, and in, in my lifetime, I've seen this nice rural, uh, laid back town go into a commuter kind of uh, place instead of, and the feeling of community gets a little bit lost.